Hi guys, this is Shukesh Banik and you are watching Gadgets Portal. This is the full in-depth review on this new Sony Xperia L which is a new mid-range device from Sony and the pricing of this device is very good. It is around 18,500 rupees in India that is around 350 USD and for the price you are getting a very good all-in-one jelly bean device and this device has got each and everything standard android phone needs so when you get an xperia l you are getting a full-fledged smartphone starting from nfc to a very good display and cpu gpu each and everything on this device is excellent for the price the wallpaper i am using is called cookie hd optic balls and I have said this to show you the actual capability of the display and what I have found that the display is very good, obviously better than the display on the Galaxy Grand. The only other display that is as good as this one is the display on the LG Optimus L9. Now the display is a 4.3 inches TFT LCD display with 854 by 480 pixels resolution with 228 ppi. The display size seems small for a smartphone nowadays but quite okay for everyday uses. There is an illumination LED light here just under the shiny bezel and looks quite good. Here is the headphone jack as usual on the top and the power key over here is just the same you get with Xperia Z which looks very stylish, bold and also very easy to access. Here is the tiny volume rocker and it nicely goes with the design of this phone. Here is the port for charging as well as data syncing. Here is the port for attaching the headset and regarding the quality of the headset I will say it is good but not extraordinarily good. Especially the bus is not that much punchy so get a better one for that. Here is the tiny microphone hole which is as usual very good and here on the back you are getting the loudspeaker grill which is extremely loud and especially when the xloud is on it is very good there is also a hole for attaching lanyard or charm the camera on this device is of 8 megapixels with excellent image quality but the video capability is up to 720p which is kinda disappointing there is a tiny flash and a secondary microphone for noise cancellation so this device has got everything of a smartphone there is also a front facing VGA camera and this device has got both proximity and ambient light sensors. Here is the ear speaker grill. Now this device does not have any hardware capacitive keys and I really appreciate this. Especially when gaming you will not accidentally press the capacitive keys which is a common phenomenon of a phone with a large display. Though on this Xperia L. It is not that much necessary. In fact, it is making the display look a little bit small, around 4 inches diagonally. So for a larger display, go for LG Optimus L9 or Galaxy Grand. Now let me show you the keyboard on this device and typing on a 4.3 inches display is just perfect. Typing with one hand on this device, especially with the swipe on is very very good. Once you get used to this, you can type super fast. With the launch of Xperia Z, Sony has done a lot of improvements on its Timescape user interface and you are getting this new UI on this Xperia L. This interactive window for adding applications and widgets is very very handy and you are getting the nice graphical effect all over this user interface like the previous one. So this Timescape user interface is beyond doubt the best looking user interface you can find on any other device. The graphical effect and the tiny icons and the bold design of this phone make this a very desirable phone, especially for those people who are very style sensitive. But I will not say it is that much user friendly like the simple touches or HTC Sense. Here is the Google now you can get just by swiping your finger up from the bottom edge of this phone. Sony has not included the small apps feature of Xperia SP, Xperia Z, ZL etc. 
and this is i think the main difference of those devices and this xperia l in the user interface now this is a feature rich device with a lot of handy applications preloaded including this note taking app which is extremely handy sometimes you can draw and there are a lot of pen types you can obviously get a stylus if you are very serious about painting you can change the color from here and there is a color picker available you can also change the width that is the size of the brushes and overall this is a full-fledged note-taking app you can also change the width of the eraser there are a couple of more custom sony apps like this sony select and walkman music player you are also getting this xperia link which is useful for sharing the internet and this smart connect will automatically detect the accessories connected to this phone and do any specific task there are a couple of more applications here on this weather widget along with the original temperature you are also getting this real feel temperature which is actually the temperature a human being feels considering the humidity and the speed of wind so with this value you will get an idea about the comfort level of the weather so this is a very good added feature from accuweather.com one thing i want to mention here the touch response of xperia devices have improved much more compared to previous devices especially before xperia z so sony is a changed brand now there is a camera key here and you can long press it to launch the camera let me bring a subject first according to sony this device has got one of the best cameras in its class it has got the premium xmor rs sensor which is a bsi sensor which helps in low light photography and overall the image quality from this device i'll say excellent for the price and the category of this device i'll rate it 4.5 out of 5 there are a couple of camera settings here though sony has excluded the superior auto mode of xperia z xperia sp etc here is the video mode and unfortunately this phone can capture up to 720p videos whereas lg optimus l9 can capture full hd videos the video playback on this device is also up to 720p the camera is 8 megapixels in 4 is to 3 mode in wide mode it is 5 megapixels the hdr mode works nice on this device i tried it myself and you can visit facebook.com slash gadgets portal for the camera samples i have also uploaded some hdr samples now there are a couple of scene modes and picture effects available you can check the live preview of all the effects here let me quickly show you some images i clicked with this camera and as you can see the focusing is extremely good there is very little noise on these images and this is an HDR photo I have uploaded all of these images into my Facebook page and also on my website gadgetsportal.in in full size so that you can get a better idea about the camera on this Xperia L there is a very interesting thing on the illumination LED light here on this Xperia L the color of this light changes in accordance with the major color of the images in the gallery which looks pretty cool the light here is not that much bright but okay for noticing in dark places here is the sony walkman music player and there are a couple of settings you can check these enhancement options where you can manually set the equalizer options and there are a couple of nice settings here this clear stereo will reduce the crosstalk and you can also set the surround sound settings for your headphone now the clear phase ensures the sound clarity of the loudspeaker and xloud enhances the loudness by around 30 percent dynamic normalizer minimizes the difference in the volume of different songs or videos now there is also a clear audio plus option which is actually the auto mode 
it automatically detects the sound and sets the settings so that you get the best sound experience from this Sony Xperia L. Now there is another very interesting thing I want to show you. Here is the Sense Me channel option where the phone automatically detects the mood and the tempo of the music tracks you have on this device and categorizes them in different channels. You have to just select the mode and the Sony Xperia L will gather the best songs for you. So this device is extremely rich in multimedia and the processing power of this device is also decent for the category of the device. The CPU is 1GHz dual core crate and the GPU is very good at Reno 305. Check the hardware review for the benchmarks and the display on this device though does not have the mobile bravia engine but still looks good and ppi also seems fair for a device in this category the best thing on this device is the exterior look and the build of this phone it doesn't feel cheap like samsung galaxy series phones and i think this is the best looking device in its class the device feels extremely premium in hand mainly because of the premium finish and the bold and stylish look of the device. If you care about the style and the design of the exterior of a smartphone, then obviously go for this Xperia L. Well, now regarding the battery, this device has got 1750 milliampere battery which seems fairly good but I'm getting around one full day with normal uses which is not excellent. Well that's all in this in-depth review and I do recommend this phone to all of you guys if you are looking for a full feature smartphone without spending that much money. So that's all for today. Subscribe and keep in touch.